Tim Ellison knows his way around a wine tasting. He's a sophisticated sommelier, a chef instructor, a veritable vino virtuoso. It has the soft fruitiness of the Pinot Noir, but that bracing acidity that you would expect to find in Nebbiolo or Sangiovese. Yeah, yeah. We decided to take Tim to a local liquor store. The higher end wines have always had a bit of a kind of a snobbish appeal and you can blame us sommelier types for that elitism. As he makes his way through the aisles of expensive wine, sure enough, he finds a bottle worthy of a lavish dinner party. This bottle right here is about $1,100 and it's made to be aged. But what if this obnoxiously dressed newcomer crashes the party? A whole stack of these juice boxes turned wine containers arrived in BC this week. According to marketers, the quality of the wine is still high standard. Hmm. With packaging colorful as Tim's tie, though not nearly as sophisticated, Tim thinks the Tetra packs have a future. The sophisticate will enjoy wine coming out of any package as long as they val or measure the wine on its own merits. But this sommelier does see limits. I don't think I'm ever going to see Mouton in a Tetra box. Hello. We return to the wine tasting to ask other connoisseurs like Lori. Now they actually have Tetra packs, which is like the juice boxes that you give to your kids when you send them off to school. In the same size? A little bigger. For wine? For wine. And what are you supposed to do? Drink it out of a straw? I believe that uh, the quality is not uh, changed that dramatically, whether it be in a Tetra pack or whether it be in a bottle. Well, guess where we found Tim? The Tetra packs even made it here. So next time you go to a dinner party, you can bring a Tetra pack instead of a bottle. Unless Lori is there. I would have a little bit of a, I would have a little moment. 